I want to talk about the importance of the discussion tool for this class. Um, on a normal week, everything you do has a discussion board component associated with it. So let's look again at the schedule of glory, and you will see that, every, like, video lectures have a discussion. You watch the video lecture, you take notes, and then you participate in this muddy, fun discussion. There will be very clear instructions for how to do that. The muddy, fun discussion um, requires two posts or two sets of posts. You've got to have a first post, right, to open the board. So on the muddy, fun discussion, if you don't generate, if you don't write your first post, you can't read everything else that's happening. Um, the rest of the posts, the rest of your participation in the board has to happen uh, by midnight on that same day. So because of our compressed timeline, look at this. Like we have one, two, three muddy fun discussions in this first week and one, two, um, lab discussions. The muddy fun discussions, I will often pose questions to you. They're usually thinkers. They're usually things that um, often model exam type questions. Um, they're basically, they're questions that I would pose to a face-to-face -face class during class time in my flipped sections to encourage um, thinking and processing and to check yourself. Did you really understand what we went through? Um, <clears throat> you don't have to answer every question in a muddy, fun discussion board. Um, you don't even have to read, like, whatever. I can't tell how you're using the thing. Look into my eyes. The only requirement other than muddy funds need an original post and an um, engagement, the only requirement is that it be meaningful, which is super vague. And it's hustleable. When I say you have to contribute a meaningful post, like, or three meaningful posts, um, if you want to banter that around with me to figure out what exactly is meaningful, Meaningful is not a certain number of words. It's something that adds to the conversation. A question, I don't get this, adds to the conversation. Um, an answer to someone else's question adds to the conversation. Sometimes even a, oh my gosh, I totally feel the exact same way, here's my story, can add to the conversation. I am not opposed to um, more posts than I'm asking you for, especially on those muddy fun and all of the discussion boards, because really the discussion board is about making the learning as social as we can in an online setting so that you are sort of pushing and challenging yourself to think about things. Because nobody knows how many people we're going to start with, there's going to be a lot of people who are um, starting this class. And because of the number of people that we're looking at, um, the discussion boards are going to get pretty busy. In the Muddy Fun discussions, I am going to like correct responses. And all this is going to be outlined in your um, whatever that is. Here's the discussion forum. It'll tell you what you need to do in the discussion forum. Um, the liking bit, like when I go through and like something in those Muddy Fun discussions, that's going to be your clue that, oh, that's something that Riggs has approved of. That's something that um, is, um, is a, that's a good, answer to a question. That way I don't have to go through and respond to every single person who's responding to these questions. If that sounds super confusing, like it kind of sounded confusing to me coming out of my mouth, um, it won't take us long to figure it out. There's like 24 muddy fun discussions in this course in eight weeks. 
And if you miss a couple points in the beginning because you're figuring it out, I guarantee that's not going to be a big deal with your grade. So just embrace the growth mindset and dive in. We'll figure out how to best um, work through these things. So your first discussion is also in this first module. And um, get in there and, and be meaningful. All right, dogs. Make things happen. Bye-bye.